Hello and welcome to my Blender 2.6 tutorial. Today I'm going to go over a few simple things, um, including normal mapping, texture mapping, UV unwrapping, and um, finally I'm going to show you how to rig some studio lighting. Okay, let's get started. Let's delete this guy right here. Yep, alright. Shift A will bring up my menu for what to add. Let's add a circle. Okay, um, now let's change the vertices to 16. You'll see why I did that soon. Um, let's go to edit mode. And let's jump to the side view. Uh, extrude along the Z axis by clicking Z. There we go. Uh, now let's this and change the size of the top. Now you can kind of see why I chose a 16. So we get the nice little lampy look. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now let's make the base and support mechanism of the lamp. Again, Shift A. Let's add that circle. It's going to be a lot smaller though. Let's go ahead and make it small. Extrude it along the z-axis, and that looks pretty good. Light the whole thing first. Jump to my. There we go. Now let's grab it and move it where we want it. First, let's. Okay, now let's deselect that. Got it. Let's make, create the base of the lamp. So we are going to select the vertices, and then if you hit Alt Shift and then right click on the base, you get that little ring selected. Extrude down along the Z axis. Let's take the size, move it out. Nice big fat base. Uh, maybe too fat on the side of the back a wee bit. And that's probably pretty good. Let's extrude it down along the Z axis. Now it's important here to hit E before you hit S. Now, alright, hit E to extrude and then S to extrude it to the center. Alright, there we go. I got a good looking lamp as long as you aren't looking at it from the top or from the bottom, which we won't be. Um, looks like a pretty respectable, simple lamp. All right, now we can get down to the meat and potatoes of this tutorial, which is first going to be unwrapping. So let's select the seam that we wish to unwrap. We're going to unwrap this um, lampshade, and we're just going to apply a regular texture to the base and pole. But um, let's do this. Let's um, mark this as the seam, and then go to our UV editing window. Select my surfaces before unwrapping. All right, now now that they're selected, now you can unwrap. Bingo. Let's go back to our default mode. Now that we have unwrapped our lampshade, we can create a new material. Let's keep this material not shiny. Let's make it a good lamp shade looking color. How about something kind of beige? Yeah, that sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's add our material. Wait, oh, let's add our texture, sorry. New texture. Let's get it from the image. Open. Is it normal? Cloth. I believe is the right one. That's it. Now we are going to change G 
geometry from diffuse and we're going to back this off a little bit because as you'll see well let me jump to my camera mode yeah it's a little bit a little thick so we don't want it to be quite so thick we want just a maybe point one just a tiny little bit of texture on there, not nothing too heavy. Um, now we can also raise our repeats on the X and the Y to help thin out the texture a little bit. Yeah, now we're looking pretty good. Looks like some cloth. All right, so we've got our lampshade texturized with. Uh, that would be the normal map that we used, this blue looking thing. Um, now we need to apply a texture to the base in the pole, and I'm going to make it a wood texture that I created. But first, we have to make a new material, which will be that wood. Um, let's also take this intensity down. Uh, yeah, we can give it a little bit. I guess our wood can have a little slight gloss. That looks good. All right. So add a texture to that image open desktop wood there we go um, now let's not apply that to the whole lamp in order to only apply it to this portion I'm going to have to select select only this portion back to this and assign now there we go lamp is coming along it's got a wood base a wood pole and a nice little cloth uh, lamp shade all right so all we got to do now is light the thing so let's add some lights go back to object mode <laughs> and we're gonna need three lights so the first light is called the key light and we're going to use an area light for that. Um, and this is way too strong, so we're going to back it off to 0.1 distance. Let's make that a 12. And this light is going to sit just above the camera. And it needs to be pointing at our object. Um, now, after that, we are going to need two more lights. Let's add, and they're both going to be Hemis. Add two Hemis. Point, make sure that that is pointing at our lamp. Come on, Bubba. There we go. So nice of you to cooperate. Let's back this energy off to a point two. Okay. Um, we can hit Shift D to duplicate that. Rotate. And now you will notice that um, as far as the positioning of these lights, the Hemis are a good bit lower than this key light. Basically what these lights do is they eliminate all the shadows that um, would be caused by the key light. The key light basically that, yes. the key light basically provides most of the, the light that's going on to your object and these two supplementary lights basically just help um, keep track of the shadows or put, keep the shadows in check is really the phrasing I'd use. So now if you look overhead you'll see that these are both about half the distance that the key light is. Also if this key light was perpendicular to the lamp 
um, these are all about 45, you know, roughly 45 degrees um, from that key light. So let's rotate. All right, let's see how this looks. There we go, beautiful. And that is how you do a little normal mapping, texture mapping, UV unwrapping, and rig your studio lighting. Um, hope you enjoyed my tutorial and have a good day.